Figured I'd let the woods speak first. Pretty cool, isn't it? Hello, everybody. How y'all doing today? Leo here. And uh, I got a little adventure for you guys today. I am out. Well, I'm out with the Can-Am, obviously. I am way out on top of a mountain in a little flat spot. little wind break. Really cool little spot. This is one of my favorites. Uh, I'm not far from the West Virginia-Kentucky border. Matter of fact, now this is one of my favorite spots here. It's got plenty of shade for when the weather's warm and when it's cold. You've got really good wind breaks all the way around you. And I also have cell service here. <laughs> Which means my TV will work. <laughs> I brought a 36-inch TV. I will be staying here for a few days, so welcome to my house, I guess. <laughs> Kick your shoes off, you know, relax, don't, wor don't worry about the carpet, you know, you're, you're not going to hurt it, uh, you know, if your feet are muddy, don't worry about it, you're okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting ready, I just got here, and I'm getting ready to do some cleanup. Uh, I've cleaned this spot up before, when I first first found this little spot years ago I took out I think six seven bags of trash and I've came back and camped a few times and you know there's always there's always a few so I'll get those too while I'm here and it's a really nice little spot I've camped here in the winter before too right here a little teepee tent right here I think it got like 14 at night I think really cold but it was it was a lot of fun a lot of adventure anyhow if you happen to like that sort of stuff i, I think you've come to the right place uh, i've certainly got one on tap for you guys you know i'm gonna do a little bit of camping uh, i brought some really cool toys y'all know how i am about my gadgets i like my toys uh i brought like i said got my tv and got plenty of power shouldn't have a problem there and you know really cool tent and you know the bed and all that good junk but I guess there's nothing to it but to get started and I've got a whole lot of work to do unfortunately before I can get to the fun part but we'll get there it's just now noon uh, summer starting to break a little bit we're only expecting like 85 tonight around 60 or 85 today and around 60 tonight so that should be you know last time i was up here it was really really hot when i camped here i brought the weed eater you know kind of trim up just a little bit trim the grass just a little bit you know you can find the garbage and <laughs> if there is any you know get all that cleaned up but check this out look at the size of that mushroom that's my phone for reference that thing is huge ain't it fat I guarantee if you take a bite of it it will not go well for you will it something's been eating that one something's uprooted that one been eating on it big pieces missing and where was it a whole bunch of these little deals would imagine it's the same same fungi Getting there. <laughs> I 
slowly but surely here I'll put my bedroom down there TV nice little entertainment center here fire out there and tighten these up a little bit hanging a little low need to go out no biggie can't really put this one up I got a tree right there I guess I could put it up tight to the tree couldn't I that's not a bad idea <laughs> all right let me get back to my bed he's almost up there well TV seems to be working just fine <laughs> Uh, let's see. Go ahead and kill that. Sitting around watching Rick and Morty. Let's see. We got 90% here. And we're done with that for a while. And, of course, I got the big one, too. So I shouldn't have any, shouldn't have any power problems. I got the big 100 amp hour battery right there and my little inverter. And I'm just using it with the phone. And you just, as long as you've got cell service, you can hotspot the TV and Wi-Fi it right to your phone. And you've got TV wherever. <laughs> but we're all set up, near as I can tell. I've got most of it done anyway. Got me a good light set up. Put me some little sticks in there to hold the wire up. Got my bed lined out. I did already. Got my windows open for now. Just letting all the air blow through. Make me a nice shady spot and just hang out and watch TV. So far it's been a really good day. Started off with a little work. But we got it up pretty quick. And we're ready for dinner later. Look at that. The bees like that they already know. I ain't even started cooking yet, and there's bees are flying around. But, we've got, should be pretty well set up. What do y'all think? Don't look too bad, does it? Got me a little fire pit cleaned out. And I'm looking forward, I've got me a really good dinner planned for later. I've got me some, hang on. really good cuts of cube steak right there i'm going to make me some country fried cube steak and gravy and mashed potatoes and all of the trimmings and i brought everything to fix me a really good dinner and from there it's snacks after the one good dinner <laughs> i only brought the one good dinner you know how it is a comfy chair out here and Stuff like this. Way back on a mountaintop. Like I said, near the Kentucky West Virginia border. I mean miles from civilization. It's about as anti civilization as you can get, isn't it? You're not going to Alaska or something. Siberia. I went ahead and hooked it up real quick. Just took a little power bank in the shade there. Figured I'd go ahead and top it off before the sun goes down. Free power. That's pretty cool. But I got to, I guess, get me some firewood gathered up. So far, that's all I've got right there. That little bit right there. Uh, there's plenty laying around in there. Got internet and everything up here. That is really cool though. Way out in the middle of nowhere. Up on top of a mountain. And still got... Still got TV. <laughs> if you do it right. But this is really nice. Shades come over just really well. It's starting to cool off. Never got real hot right here. But, you know, you step out in the sun, it's it's pretty warm in the sun. But we won't do that. We'll kind of hang out in the shade. Much nicer. Ooh, come think of it, I got a fan. 
I forgot about that. I think I might go get it. <laughs> it ain't that hot, but, you know, why not, right? Why not? <laughs> but I didn't bother with the floor. I remember the last time I was up here, I saw that snake about right in here somewhere. And, you know, I wasn't worried about the snake, but the rest of the night, every stick, every twig, you know, is that a snake? Is that a snake? Is that a snake? It was never a snake, but you still keep thinking that, you know, after you see one. For those of you who have it, it's, um, it's dog days of summer, and it's the tail end of summer, just as the hot weather is starting to leave. Uh, copperheads and rattlesnakes are both members of the pit viper family. They have little sensors on their chin that can see heat, and they use those when they shed, their their eyes turn like milky blue and they can't see. And they use those pit sensors to detect heat. You know, small animals, you, whatever. And, you know, they'll, they'll pretty much strike at anything warm. You know, this is the worst time of year for snakes, really. You know, which there's never a good time to encounter a rattlesnake or a copperhead. But this time of year is, you know realistically speaking it's probably a little bit worse we're just now at the beginning of it so maybe it won't be too bad i'm going to probably be doing some exploring at least you know there's a trail here and one another one out through that way too one out that way it's where i came in but it's a nice little place you know a little bit to explore and roam around and you know, just kind of not do a whole lot. Just explore. <laughs> That's about it. You know, it just kind of resets your mind, don't it? All right. Let's get back to mind resetting, I suppose. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Sitting way back on top of a mountain kick back in my little whipped up hovel watching Godzilla <laughs> TV's working really good it streams just fine I've got what three or four bars so yeah it's working really well can't complain cannot complain been sitting around watching TV mostly just have it in the background been kind of goofing off you know how it is You're doing things and stuff and got my little coffee table set up by my bed <laughs> what y'all think Let me get back where you can see here what y'all think I'm old TV sitting area Of course this all this closes up I just got it open right now to you know to let the breeze blow through but I got my lights ready for later and got me two good ones out here too right there should be really nice once it gets dark That's the fun part about camping, you know, once it gets dark and, you know, you're kind of hanging out and it's like pitch black and, yeah. Alright, I guess I need to get up and get back to it. It's getting a little bit late. Shadows are getting long on me. I'm going to have to start dinner pretty soon, I guess been kind of putting it off like I said just been hanging out watching TV and relaxing got a little bit of firewood I didn't get a whole lot I figure there's there's plenty right there there's more over here there's some right there some over here you know and it's literally all over the ground too perfectly sized little pieces oh, I don't think that's going to be a problem 
but I got a little bit over there anyway, enough to get the enough to get the ball rolling. This is really nice though. Home away from home. I like the tent too. You can go into different. It's in canopy mode now. Now this one goes out too, like that end does, where it's got a a bay you can put in right here and back like a truck or a minivan or a car or you know anything you want and it docks right in there uh, you pull your pick I got a little pickup truck with a camper pull it right in here and just make that the bedroom yeah I can't wait for winter too this thing should do should do well you know it's not like insulated or anything but it does have a vinyl layer that your average tent does not so I'm thinking she should do pretty good when the weather gets cold it's got an inner tent too I'm not using it there's actually like three more pieces to this tent that I'm not even using there's a, a floor for that section great big inner tent for this section uh, and this becomes uh, the inner tent just kind of hangs from all those little hooks really wild I like that you can make it different things you know just depending on the temperature what you're in the mood for whether you want a canopy or an enclosed room or total darkness you know you can make it pitch black in here if you want to well we're about nah, a little over halfway whatever through Godzilla he's he's still rampaging at this point <laughs> but the shade is over the sun's going behind the trees and so it's about time to get dinner started for your dining pleasure tonight We have a nice cut I just got. Very nice cut, very, yeah. A little too good, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that bumblebees after it already. All right, we got the steak. We're gonna bread it, deep fry it. Mix up some country gravy to go with it. And some mashed potatoes. That sounds pretty good, don't it? That sounds halfway decent. All right, let me run a few yellow jackets off and get set up here and we'll get to cooking dinner. Okay, I guess it's time to channel my inner Gordon Ramsay. You're fired. You have no business being in the kitchen. Okay, I'm ready. Good thing about being outside. <laughs> like large pieces of pepper. Let me just get out of his way and let him do his thing. and running.
Time to take them up. Check that out. That looks a little bit yummy, don't it? that crust the yellow jackets wanted <laughs> I don't blame them that is pretty good it's all done take that out mashed potatoes and gravy got my cube steaks right there ready to go we are ready to try or te test it out look at that thick thick gravy That looks pretty good, don't it? Not too bad for out in the middle of the woods, is it? Heather says I never take pictures. <laughs> All right, here we go. Very good. That will work. That most certainly will work. <laughs> now, that is really good. That is seriously good. Bees. You don't want to leave either. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to shut the camera down and have dinner. Now I'm coming up on about halfway through here. <laughs> Look at that. That gravy's really good with it. I, I see why people do that now. <laughs> Sun going down. Not bad at all. Go away, B. Go on. They will not quit, will they? Look at that. Right on it. Well, things are aggressive. Well, I 
it's about 9.30. And I'm in tent mode here. Went ahead and closed my windows. Lit me a citronella candle. Maybe chase out a gnat or two. We'll see. I see a few up there. Not too many though. Not too bad. But we're doing good. We're sitting at uh, 95% on that little power generator. And the big battery for the TV, I haven't even scratched it yet. It's, you know, 98, 99%. No problem. Got me a little fire going. You know how it is. We've mentioned that before. If you ain't got a fire, you're not camping. It's a day trip if you don't have a campfire. But nothing too dramatic, just a little one. You know, that little pant, that little fire pit does good. All the holes are up top, so no matter how much wood it's got, the flames are always up top. Works really good. But yeah, you can't really get too close to it because it's not exactly cool out here tonight. Check that out. You can see really good out here. It's really bright. The GoPro just doesn't doesn't do very well in any kind of low light. Just kick back watching Heather's Lexington video. That is wild, isn't it? Just sitting up on top of a mountain watching TV. Watching streaming, you know, watching YouTube videos. It's really pretty, well managed. That is wild, isn't it? So John Madden actually owned the horse farm. I think mean, going well though. Looks really good in here, don't it? I like it. Looks nice. I got the citronella going. Ain't too many. It's not too buggy. I see a couple little ones, a couple little gnats up there. Nothing too dramatic. So that's why he Alright, I'm gonna here. turn some of these lights back out. I got a whole bunch of them going. I'm probably drawing a bunch of bugs. I just thought I'd turn some light on so I could fire up the camera. Good morning. Overslept a little bit. It's almost 10. Man, it felt good, Doug. It's, look how dark. All you can see is a little crack underneath the bottom of the tent. Oh, uh, you can see. If this helps any. Hello. <laughs> Got bright fast, didn't it? Let's <laughs> <laughs> here. <coughs> Slept good. Almost rolled off the air bed though last night. <laughs> Almost rolled right off of it. Mm. Look, it's going to be a beautiful day, guys. I guess I need to get up and get going, I suppose. Mm. Get up and get some coffee. I'll see y'all in a minute. I'm gonna get my coffee going here and we'll move on from there. That's better. All coffeeed up and ready for my day. Uh, 
just put my tie tied this thing up here uh, i was planning on spending another night but heather and i were talking last night and we planned out another trip a camping and fishing trip and if i stay tonight i'll be you know i have to go home and then leave right back out you know won't even unpack you know go home from one camping trip and immediately go into another camping trip so i believe i'm going to head home today and uh yeah you know anyhow <laughs> one minor problem i was going to make some waffles for breakfast okay <laughs> brought a little mini waffle maker right how cute is that <laughs> it barely works too it's a 500 500 watt output and this is he clocks in at 474 watts so it'll run it but just barely the problem is <laughs> the waffles were doomed from the start and i didn't even realize it i mean i tried y'all y'all don't even know man how tried I, how hard i tried to do waffles for y'all <laughs> Uh, I get over here and I, f I realize that I forgot the, the pancake mix, the waffle mix, right? And the syrup. Forgot both of them. <laughs> so I took, you remember the, the uh, cube steak I saved? I took a little, separated a little bit of the, the coating mix. And it's flour and cornstarch. <laughs> and I was going to make pancake anyway, you know, just, just test the theory, right? Test the theory and yeah i got going and dropped the flour and you know how that goes <laughs> so i guess we just put the waffle maker back in the box i do believe I, he, he's just doomed we'll try that next time but anyway so i guess i've got another hour or so that i can just kind of hang out and enjoy you know uh enjoy my little trip before i have to start packing everything back up and get gone i took a little time i took about 30 minutes and uh, i had a few walmart bags so i went through and just kind of picked up you know old beer cans and you know anything flammable i pretty much threw in there last night you know try to cl try to clean the place up you know keep it keep it clean when I ran up on this place, I used to bring people through here back in my trail tour days when I used to be a trail guide. You know, this was, you know, just a little break spot out on the outlaw trails. It was shady. If it was a hot day, you could come back in here in the shade and, you know, everybody get out and talk and take a break, that kind of thing. But uh, that's one of my camping spots. Now I've got bunches. <laughs> I've got a bunch of <laughs> little camping spots like this, you know, just scattered by the river some on you know mountain peaks and like i said just different places this one's sheltered it's got stuff on both sides and you've got a bunch of tree cover great big canopy uh, it looks good in here don't it it's like a little house bump my head on the ceiling it's like a little house ain't it very dark too when you close it up there's very very little light comes in i can't wait till winter to try this thing out with my diesel heater <laughs> and you know the power banks yeah i, I love winter camping that is my favorite uh i don't know i've been camping since i was a little kid but you know the, the my trail guide years kind of got me um kind of got me messed up just a little bit uh, you know you kind of get used to you know the adventure the adrenaline the fun the the get out there and do you, you know what i'm saying and it's kind of hard to compete with being a trail guide. <laughs> it really is. But by God, we give it a hell of a try, don't we? <laughs> but I cannot wait, though, like I said, for wintertime. Get that thing out in some snow. 
and you know maybe even go someplace dock the truck it has a dock that zips in right here and you can back like i said a minivan or my truck you know has a has a camper top on it so i just back it right in there and dock it and make it the bedroom and then you've got all the tent space you know just to play with you know but anyway i guess i'm gonna hang out you know play with some of my toys for a little while i might watch a little tv we'll see and i guess start start getting everything moving back that direction <laughs> instead of expanding we'll start contracting at this point but we'll see you guys in a few like i said i'm just going to hang out and you uh, know appreciate y'all watching by the way i just i wanted to mention that thank y'all for all of our subscribers and you know we appreciate y'all you know it's uh, it's a lot of fun making these videos you, you know you're you're out here you're doing it alone you know what i mean obviously you're doing it alone but just having the camera in your hand you, you know what i'm saying it's like um it's like you've got your friends with you when you want them with you and you're totally alone when you want to be totally alone you know you've got somehow you've got the best of both worlds you know you're you're totally alone and you've got a whole bunch of friends with you too weird isn't it weird the way your head works <laughs> This does tend to help get your head correct, though. Gets you in a much better mood, that's for sure. You're ready for, you know, ready for life. Put it that way. Oh, I had to do. <laughs> I had a guy last night. It's about eleven, and I heard something, you know, rumbling through the rumbling through the trail. And it was like a, a big F-350, big, big king cab, you know. <laughs> and it comes down through here and it pulls in like right here. It sees my little fire. I, I can hear, I guess they had their windows open. I heard a, a man say, hey, there's somebody camping here. And so, you know, I stepped out and everything. And, Sorry, man, we didn't know you was camping. I, it's all right, no problem, no problem. Y'all lost? <laughs> and he said, no, we're just out exploring you know got the grandkid got the kids out and had two little girls and was in a company truck <laughs> and, uh, i looked at I, I like i said it was a, like a f-350 real big one i said nice truck he said yeah he said my boss would probably fire me if he knew i was out here with it <laughs> <laughs> All kinds of little mushrooms. Look at that. Everywhere you look. Now you see some of them got a big bite out of them. Some of those big ones. Like big toadstools and stuff. It's wild the way some animals can actually eat that stuff. Ooh. See that tree? It'd be a really good place to make a like a primitive stack your stuff up along the tree on both sides and then come across it with some leaves and vines and stuff i bet you could make a sweet little house right there in no time you got the whole ridge line and you can make it big as you wanted to plenty of firewood right by your door <laughs> First thing I thought as soon as I saw that tree, ooh, a house. <laughs> Be a good spot for your tent, wouldn't it? See what the view is. Be a good view in the fall when the leaves aren't on. You can see the valley. Right here, the valley comes up this way. There's another mountain directly across over here. And the valley goes up that way. 
and keeps going and this little spur kind of comes back this way and dead ends look at that one check that out that's wild looking in it some of those you know mushrooms i mean of course y'all know you know some of them extremely poisonous uh my my grandparents when mom was little they picked a bunch of what they thought was button mushrooms and they almost died mom said that uh, that she was in a coma she was in a hospital in a coma for a while they thought she was going to die for sure but she pulled through and i remember once i was out with uh danny my buddy danny that's who i'm going camping with by the way we're going to do some fishing but that's why i'm cutting this trip short <laughs> But we found a mushroom. He had an app on his phone to, you know, plant ID. <laughs> he said, what do you think that is? And I looked at him. I said, it'll probably kill you if you eat it. I, said, I don't know, but it'll probably kill you if you eat it. And he scanned it real quick. <laughs> Big red letters. Warning. Do not touch. Extremely toxic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do not touch, huh? It didn't say do not eat. It said do not touch. <laughs> I haven't seen any snakes but we will not complain about that that is a good thing I mean I like snakes you know I like to video them you know the, the baby, uh, baby copperheads are our most dangerous snake it's supposedly the most dangerous animal until you get out into the Rockies, I think mountain lions or something like that. You know, they're just, they, they bite, they're aggressive, and they'll bite at the drop of a hat. And when they do bite, they inject all of their poison because they're babies. They don't know no better. So that's why they're supposedly the most dangerous animal that we have here. Bears, not so much. I, I, I've mentioned that before. Bears, if you see a bear, unless it's a mother with cubs, what you're really looking at is 75 bunny rabbits in a fur coat. And that's literally what you're looking at. I mean, unless, as long as you don't corner it. Now, that's that's a totally different ball game now if you corner it. But they're going to try to run. They're going to try to get away from you, you know, like anything else, except for a rattlesnake. Now, the rattlesnakes, they're, they don't care. They'll sit right there and just shake that rattle at you. Touch me. I dare you. Touch me. Do it. <laughs> You're gonna pack, do it right. <laughs> well, I got everything packed up, loaded up, got my site cleaned up. Other than some trimmed grass, you'd never know I was here, would you? And all that and a little ash I made sure it was out which I had a little fire pit on that rock you know just to be safe you know but it is that time of year <laughs> but anyway guys this has been a fun little trip it sure has this has been I didn't stay as long as I got all planned originally but I can sacrifice one day here for you know going camping with a friend going some doing some catfishing and all this good stuff so yeah we, we can trade we can trade a day off for that that's a good deal that's a good deal but i've got i should be should be good to go got everything stowed away and tied down and strapped in and all this good stuff so i guess there ain't nothing left to do now but start my way back out of here last check we're all good nothing but some crickets Appreciate y'all coming along. 
and keeping me company and I hope you enjoyed hope you enjoyed our little video and with a little bit of luck I'll have an even better video in just a couple days and this is most of you know we just started this channel and this will be our first uh, first fall winter season doing the camping channel we the ruts that big truck got in last night and so we plan we got big plans for this season it's just getting ready to get started you know fall temperatures starting to cool off a little bit so we should have some really good stuff for you guys you know some really interesting places in some really interesting wilderness and some cool toys too <laughs> so, should be interesting guys y'all feel free to subscribe you know we we sure appreciate your support and you know like i've said before we can't do it without you yeehaw <laughs> beautiful isn't it I guess I'm out of here. We're back at the main trail. So guys, I guess I'm out of here. And we will see y'all next time. I'm going to go home. I've got one day off. And load back up. And go do some camping and catfishing. With my buddy Danny. So we'll see you guys in a few days. Y'all have a really good one. Appreciate you coming along very much guys. Y'all have a good day. We'll see you next time. Leo out.